Hey guys, this tutorial will help you in cases you hit play, want to record something but forgot to press record button or punched in a little too late. I uploaded a post about MIDI last week, but here's a little reminder. I have an instrument here, I press play, and playing something amazing. And whoops, forgot to record. This can be simply recovered by holding shift and pressing on the asterisk in your number pad. If you don't have a number pad, seriously, buy one. Now let's go over the audio. If you record yourself or a customer and pressing the record button a bit too late, for example, this is a digital audio workstation developed by Steinberg for music and MIDI recording, arranging and editing. I missed the beginning. This is a digital audio work, but luckily by default you can recover one second in every audio recording. Cubase is a digital audio workstation developed by Steinberg for music and MIDI recording, arranging and editing. Which basically means Cubase is recording you all the time. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Cubase is not going to do anything with your voice. But you can extend the recovery time up to 60 seconds. It's pretty simple. Go to File, Preferences, go down to Audio under Record, and simply change the audio pre-record seconds to as long as you need. I'll change it to 30 seconds. Let's try it again. Audio Workstation developed by Steinberg for music and MIDI recording, arranging and editing. And recover what is missing. Cubase is a digital audio workstation developed by Steinberg for music and MIDI recording, arranging and editing. We can go even further away. Let's check it out. Not now, I'm recording! Cubase is a di- Again. Cubase is a digital audio workstation developed by Steinberg for music and MIDI recording, arranging and editing. And that's how you're not losing important recordings.